In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a two-tiered mod wheel in Serum. What I mean by that is a mod wheel whose bottom half activates one modulation, and then the top half activates another. To learn about this, we'll go over modulation curves as well as the modulation auxiliary source. Now this video is actually an excerpt from the Serum Lesson Pack for Centorial. Centorial is a synthesizer training app that teaches you how to program synth patches by ear. It does this by combining video demonstrations with interactive challenges in which you program patches on a built-in soft synth. The Serum Lesson Pack adds 55 videos that show you how to take everything you learn in Centorial and apply it to Serum, as well as covering all of the many additional features that Serum has to offer. And you can get the first four videos from the Serum Lesson Pack for free by going to Centorial.com, clicking Try for Free, and downloading the Centorial demo for Mac, PC, or iPad. This has the first 22 Centorial lessons, but also the first four videos from the Serum Lesson Pack. Once you download Centorial, just go into this drop down, download Lesson Packs, and you'll see the Serum Lesson Pack at the top. Just click the Download button. We also have Lesson Packs for Massive, Silent, and a couple others. And like I said, the demo will have the first four or five videos from each of these packs. When you buy Centorial, all of the packs and all their videos are included. All right, on to the excerpt. And then you've got these curve boxes. So what the curve does is it makes the source focus more of its time in the top or the bottom of its modulation range. So for example, let's say I were to route LFO. Now if I curve this up, what I end up doing is kind of swaying it to the top of the range. So now it's going to spend more of its time near the top. You see how it's hanging out up here and just shooting down and back up? Or if I do the opposite, now I've pushed it down to the bottom. It's spending more of its time down at the bottom and just shoots up and down from the top. This curve is also good for the mod wheel. So. Let's say I write our mod to cut off. And I'll do it for resonance too. So maybe I want to be able to move slower through this lower range. Like most of my mod wheel work, I kind of want it to be here and then have the option to shoot up to the top when I need to. Well, curve to the rescue now. I can move the mod wheel pretty drastically, and the cutoff, you know, it stays in this lower area. But I have that option where once in a while, I can grab a high value. And if I do it real extreme, all the way up, now, when it's all the way down, I'm good. All I have to do is barely move it up, and it flicks to the top. So it turns your mod wheel into an on off switch. Next, LFO amount. So there is no LFO amount knob, right? There is no modulation amount knobs. The modulation amount is always done on the destination itself, right? So what we need to do is modulate this amount setting, but you can't just drag a source to these little knobs. Instead, we go into the matrix, we see our current LFO modulating cutoff setup. We go into this section here, auxiliary source. Whatever is set as the source here will now control the amount here. So if my mod goes all the way down, I have zero amount, no modulation. But as I turn my mod wheel up, it's going to increase the mod amount up to this point. This is a nice design because now you can modulate any modulation amount set here by setting your auxiliary source over here. Now this curve box over here, it's the same, but it works on the auxiliary source. Again, this is great for the mod wheel. Uh, let's say I've got a... Vibrato thing. And I route my mod wheel here. So now, 
Well, I can curve it. Maybe I want to just flick it on. Let me give it a little bit more. Let's look at an example, an interesting example of this in use, actually. So these two rows right here I find interesting. Our mod wheel is controlling our LFO amount, and this mod wheel is also controlling this LFO amount. But there are two different destinations. One's to master tune and one's to noise level. And they have opposite curves to the mod wheel. What this means is when I turn my mod wheel up just a little bit, this curve is going to jump up. So right away, I'm going to kind of get close to my max noise, and you're going to hear the noise kick in. Right around there, you hear the kind of... But this is curved in the opposite way. So this small amount will barely create this vibrato, this LFO master tune. As I push the mod wheel higher, then you'll start to hear that kick in. So it's kind of a multi-layered mod wheel. Push it up a little bit for a noise, a little bit more for vibrato. To see the rest of this video and 54 other serum videos, you'll need the Serum Lesson Pack for Centurial. But again, you can get the first four videos for free if you download the Centurial demo here. And then in Centurial, go into Download Lesson Packs and download the Serum Lesson Pack.